in the middle of my daily duties. Mind getting out of my way? Do all custodians water the plants here? <laughs> of course! Who else? I have to take care of my friends. Friends? Sure! This tree here is a good friend of mine. Wait, what? This tree is a Sproutling? Oh, I guess you wouldn't know. When a Sproutling goes to sleep for a long time, we tend to turn into trees. Every four years, just in time for the pilgrimage, one of my hibernating friends grows the most beautiful flowers. The alluring fragrance beckons the fairy to the burrow, and that lucky sproutling gets to be the alm. Only the most vibrant of sproutlings can blossom, making them the perfect candidates for the alm of wood. Our patron, Elemental, wants lush foliage on all of her envoys. But when are the buds meant to bloom? Usually the trees are already in bloom by the time the convoy of alms arrives. But not this year. There's probably no hope for the burl after all. I suppose we all gotta go sometime. Whoa, hold on. No need to jump straight to utter destruction. Nope. I think this is it for us. No flowers, no fairy, no future. Anyway, I'm sure you've all got stuff to do. Some bandit you're tailing or whatever. He's really gonna give up on his homeland? Just like that? <clears throat> Jule seems really knowledgeable about the pilgrimage. There's a lot more I want to ask him. about my work. There's a lot we don't know about all this. I was hoping for answers. A chat would kill time better than my usual rounds. As you wish. All Sproutlings remain dormant for long periods with one exception. We alternate who looks after the rest of us while we sleep. As the custodian, I water my sleeping friends each and every day. I woke up four years ago just as the last pilgrimage was coming through the burrow. So for four years, you've been watering these guys waiting for them to bloom? All by yourself? Of course. Though, I guess it's not gonna matter much anymore if there's no arm. Might as well hang up my watering can. You can't be out of options already. Have you talked with your patron elemental? Maybe she can help. <laughs> What a silly thing to say! Alms are appointed, not requested. There's nothing I can do about this. But how do you know if you don't try? I went directly to Sylphid and asked to be made the alm. You don't want this place to be destroyed, right? Then do something! Anything! Go ask the Elemental of Wood to hurry it up! You've got to be joking. She's joking, right? Karina's telling the truth. She went out and found the Elemental of Wind in order to request her position as the Alm. But... but... that's going against the Hand of Fate. Perhaps mortals like yourself try to defy destiny, but that's not how we do things up here. Sproutlings take what life gives us, and we're grateful for it. I 
don't know how many thousands of years ago it was, but we watched your world teeter on the edge of destruction. All the while, we waited, tending the seeds as we've always done. Whatever hand fate deals us is our burden to bear. How egotistical to assume you know better than the goddess herself! Egotistical? That's rich coming from a stubborn weed like him. He's not wrong to stick to his principles. He just needs some perspective. Is following the will of the world really worth accepting the destruction of all you hold dear? Hmm. Not that the workings of the Hand of Fate aren't important, but Karina's got a good point too. I don't want Jule to give up hope. Let me see. This might be useful. Grizzly! Yes! Pushy bunch, you know that? <laughs> what is it this time? You're the one who ran off. We weren't done with our conversation. Actually, I didn't have anything else to say to you folks. I've said my piece. No need to get worked up about it. I'll tell you what. If an arm of wood is chosen, you'll be the first to know. So go ahead and look around for that cork stone or, or what have you. It's core stone, not cork stone. And that's our friend Soul you're talking about, bub. Hina, the Alma Fire, had her core stone stolen by Orin. If we don't get that piece of her back, then Tiania is in danger. Ferdia still has a chance. So use it! How can you stand around and throw your hands up like none of this is in your control? Don't you care what happens to the burrow? Think of your dormant friends. Don't you want to save them? Isn't that worth asking to become the Alm of Wood yourself? Look, pal, I'm not going to take much more of your sass. You think I'm not worried about the fate of my home? There should be blooms by now. It's not supposed to be like this. Without flowers, the fairy won't come. Without the fairy, us sproutlings lose our purpose. No lives to preserve. It'd be the end of everything. Maybe... Maybe this is my fault. I could have overwatered the burrow or pruned something I wasn't supposed to. That worry is always on my mind. Jule. Here's a thought, Jule. We could all search for the reason the flowers aren't blooming. Huh? But don't you need to find that Aaron guy who stole from you? You said so yourself. No one has come through the burrow but us. We trust you to know what's going on in your home. Besides, I'm the Soul Guard. It's my duty to find the Alm and protect them from harm. Look, I appreciate the thought, but there's no cure for the burrow. It's pointless. Oh, honestly. Stop quitting before you start, kid. Come on, folks. We've got a job to do. I think this place doesn't get enough sunlight. That's what. The landscape in Verdius hasn't changed in millennia. They would have had problems long before now if it was the sun. Maybe Gnome's powers are too weak to reach here? It is true that Elusia is a tad far from other terrain. The solution may be that the sustenance given to the sprouts is being sucked dry. Hmm. That's a lot of leads to eliminate. Let's take a look around the area first. Hmm. The reason... <gasps> Wait! Could it be? Where'd Jule get off to? Well, while we wait for him, we can try to figure out the cause of all this. 